Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to our channel today. I appreciate y'all being here. And if you're new to the channel, if you're finding us that very first time, you know, welcome. It's good to have you. And our topic for you today, it's how to increase gym sales. How to increase gym sales. We've got seven ways for you, seven things to think about, seven things you can do to immediately improve you know, gym sales performance. Now, before we get into our topic here today, just a quick reminder, you know, my focus, my mission here in the channel is I want to be able to provide as much information as I can to as many people as I can you know, across the globe. And the best way I can do that is when you choose to subscribe to the channel. So if you've not yet done so, please take a moment, you know, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate it. And then to learn more about me, learn more about my company and how we can help take your business that next level, you know, be sure to check out those links below. And for you folks who are looking to open a new gym and you need funding, uh, if you're looking to acquire a gym, you need funding. Uh, if you have an existing gym, you need working capital. You know we can help uh, help provide funding from between fifty and four hundred thousand uh, dollars in funding. Uh, it's unsecured. There's no restrictions on use. And the basic qualification for the program it's a six eighty credit score or better in all three credit bureaus: Equifax, Experian, TransUnion, and a minimum income of fifty thousand per year each of the two previous years. You can check out the links below under financing and funding for more information on that program, as well as other financing options uh, that we have available for you. And so with that said, let's get into our topic today, and it's how to increase gym sales. I think this is for the most part what everybody wants, and I want to give you some things to think about. And so number one, introduce a new product or service introduce a new product or service. And so one of the things that I see with many clubs that are not really hitting uh, their potential is it's a maybe a hundred percent reliance on dues, on membership fees. You know, look at, you know, can you sell private training? Can you sell group training? Can you sell supplements? Can you sell nutrition? Can you sell retail? You know, can you sell on your website? You know, can you lease out space, you know, inside your gym? Can you sell advertising? Can you go out and get sponsors? That's a lot of things you can do, okay? And normally what we like to see is have your dues line, but then we like to see you have at least three other kind of profit centers, each of them doing at least 20% margins or better. So introduce new products or services, you know, pick what you like, okay? There's plenty of things out there. Number two on how to increase gym sales, expand to new markets, expand to new markets. Now, this could be as big as opening up a second location, right? Or another location could be that big, or it could be, you know, what if you start marketing to, uh, to, um, uh, youth sports, maybe that's a market. Maybe it's to, uh, kids that, um, are homeschooled or doing online school. Maybe that's a market for you. Maybe there's a senior division that you could market to. Okay. Maybe putting more emphasis on kind of that 80%, that uncontested market, that deconditioned audience. Maybe that's another market you could go to. Maybe it's your website and maybe you're doing personal training virtually. Maybe now you have a global market. So expand to new markets. Okay. These are things you can do relatively simply. It's just a matter of putting those into the marketing plan. Number three, enhance your sales channels, enhance your sales channels. You know, what sales channels do you currently have? You know, where do you sell? Can you buy off your website? Do you send out uh, emails like a constant contact or MailChimp where people can buy? Can people buy uh, on social media? Okay. Do you have a, a YouTube channel? Do you have a podcast? You know, where are all these places people can buy, you know, get that message out there. Number four, marketing activities. You know, this is the big one, right? Okay. Because the number one problem that uh, any small business has, certainly, you know, independent gyms have, is that issue of obscurity. Nobody knows who you are. Those that do, they don't have you at top of mind. Okay. And the idea is you want to get known by everybody in your marketplace. That's the goal. And so look at your marketing activities. Most, most facilities, most gyms, they're not doing near enough to really dominate a market. 
And so you want to dominate. And I would suggest if you have the budget for it, a combination of paid um, and then, you know, things that you can get for free. On the paid side, you can check out the links below under advertising and marketing. You know, check out digital marketing. I mean, we've got digital marketing programs that'll get you 100 new leads, you know, every single month. Okay, can be a massive difference maker for you. On the unpaid, I mean, look at things like getting out press releases. Look at, um, you know, Google My Business is a big one. Look at local site directories. Okay, these are a lot of ways that you can do this online. But also on the boots on the ground kind of mindset is, you know, connect with all the businesses in your community. Okay, and connect with them on all their preferred social medias. Get their business card for emails and texting and snail mail messages. Uh, a lot of ways you can connect, but we need to get known by everybody. So enhance your marketing activities would be number four. Number five, how to increase gym sales. Change your prices. Change your prices. Here's what I mean. People will pay more money if you simply ask. And here's what I mean. When you're showing your programs, I suggest showing two, okay? And we won't get into the, you know, the, the process of this, but I suggest showing two. You know, one's nicer than the other. Both are good, okay? But what we know is this. 20% of all customers will pay more money if simply ask. So my suggestion is raise your prices, offer a choice close, whatever you're offering now, and then a higher price program. And be looking for 20% of your folks to buy that higher price. If they're not, you know, call me. You know, you can check out links below. Happy to chat with you about how we can get that turned around for you. But, you know, start getting more money per customer. It's one of the great secrets to growing a business is getting more money per customer because your cost on that, you've already incurred your cost by getting the customer in. Uh, number six on my list on how to increase gym sales. Be aware of the competition. Be aware of the competition. And here's what I mean by that is you want to know, you know, what's the competition doing, but what are you bringing to the market that they're not? What are you better at than they're not? What is the differentiation? Okay. Because what you don't want from a consumer's perspective, you don't want to be perceived like everybody else. You need to, you know, market that brand, market that differentiation. Okay, this is what's going to set you apart. This will also help you charge, you know, higher prices. And then number seven on my list, how to increase gym sales. Do not neglect member service. Do not neglect member service. That member experience directly correlates to that attrition number. You know, if you've got 4% a month, you know, roughly you're losing half your members every year. You know, 1%, 1.5% change in that because you've improved your member experience can be monumental in the growth of your business, okay, in terms of keeping customers and in terms of growing revenue. So look at your member experience, you know, what can we do to improve that, whether it be our onboarding process, our follow-up with folks who become inactive, you know, how do we handle complaints, you know, how do we interact with them, but do not neglect member service. And whatever you're doing now, we want to improve it. So folks, again, my name's Jim Thomas. My company's Fitness Management and Consulting. Appreciate you being here at the channel today. And if you've not yet done so, please take a moment, you know, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And then to learn more about me and learn more about my company and how we can help take your business that next level, you know, be sure to check out those links below. And then for you folks who are looking to open a new gym and you need funding, uh, you're looking to acquire a gym, you need funding, uh, you have an existing gym, you know, you need working capital, you know, we can help with funding from between $50,000 in funding and $400,000 in funding. Uh, it's unsecured. There's no restrictions on use. And the basic qualification for that program, it's a 680 credit score or better in all three credit bureaus. Uh, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, and then 50000 per year income each of the two previous years. Check out the links below under financing and funding uh, for more information on that program and other financing options uh, that we have available for you. And uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you all in that next video. We appreciate you being here today.